What's up guys? Welcome to this new video. So I get a lot of emails asking the question, is Cobb suitable for my climate? And typically I'll give them the answer, yes. Because I believe Cobb and earthen materials work for most any climate, even northern cold frigid climates. But in these cold climates you do have to deal with the problem of insulation as cob and earthen materials have virtually no insulation value. 12 inches thick of cob has about an R3 value of insulation, which is pretty insignificant. So how do you deal with this? I'm gonna talk about that in this video. So the first thing you might wanna ask yourself before starting is, is cob or an earthen material really suitable for my project and my climate? Um, or do you want to just start off with a highly insulated material like straw bale, light straw clay, or even hempcrete? But if you do want to have an earthen material in a northern cold climate, um, I want to give you this method so you have the possibility to highly insulate any earthen building. And this technique has been used very successfully in rammed earth buildings throughout Canada, especially British Columbia and the Northwest United States. So I also want to note that if you have cold winters, but you live in what's considered a temperate climate, this um, insulation method I'm about to introduce to you is not completely necessary for you, although you'll still get the benefits of it. In a temperate climate, you can usually get away with an earthen building being comfortable as long as you have either a good passive solar design, a hybrid building structure, um, and a good indoor heating source, or a combination of those three. Many times people will do a uh, hybrid building with uh, the north and the west walls in straw bale and the east and the south walls in cob or in earthen material. Okay, so to be honest, this technique is actually pretty simple. Basically, we're gonna be sandwiching a piece of insulation in between two cob walls. So here's what it looks like basically. We have a foundation and on top of that foundation we are going to put our wall and in between in the middle of the wall we have insulation board okay that's what's going to give us our high insulation value for the wall and then on either side of the insulation we're going to have cob in this case you could do rammed earth you could do adobe you could do really whatever you want so that's it essentially what we're gonna what we want we have our cob walls and then we have our insulation now here's where it becomes a little bit unconventional and distasteful to the natural builder because we're going to start using some rebar here we need to tie this side of the wall to this side of the wall so what we're going to do is run some vertical rebar close to the insulation and then we're going to punch holes through and tie the left side of the wall to the right side of the wall with a piece of rebar. Okay, so we're tying each side together to create somewhat of a monolithic piece like a cob wall normally would be. And that's it essentially. That's what we want. So from the side, what it's going to look like is our foundation and we've got our insulation in the middle of that wall and then our rebar is going to stick up vertically out of the foundation and then we're going to have our holes poked through tying it into the other side. And then it's also good to run some horizontal rebar. And you have a pretty nice grid there, creating a, a strong wall. And I also want to point out, it's good to make each side of this cob wall um, at least eight inches thick. Uh, preferably, preferably, I would go with 10 inches, maybe even 12 inches on both sides. And that makes for a very thick wall, but it's a lot more stable. I would feel uncomfortable 
if the, the wall on either side was too thin. Um, you want it to kind of be stable as it is. So I would go something pretty thick on each side. And that's essentially it. And this is what they do for um, insulated rammed earth walls. And it's very successful, very highly insulative. That's not completely natural, I know, but it works.